Hello there! Very exciting video today. I will be showing you how to connect Modern MT in WordFast Pro 5 using WordFast server. So we'll be seeing that step by step. Now this is a new feature uh, that has been put into WordFast server using uh, MT custom fields to connect to any MT you like. So we'll be showing that using modern MT. Now, WordFast server is free for freelancers up to three connections and you will be able to connect one MT for one CAD tool at a time using that in demo mode. Of course, if you have a paid license for WordFast server, you can connect as many MTs as your license allows you to. Now, regarding modern MT, Modern MT is a paid service. Uh, if you have an API key, you'll be able to connect that in WordFast server. And at the moment of making this video, uh, Modern MT is an MT that gives very good results in many uh, language pairs. So that will be interesting uh, to many folks, depending on uh, the language pair they're working with. Now, I'll be showing that step by step in this video. But if you're not familiar with WordFast server, of course, you can watch videos I made before on that topic. And I will be uh, giving you a 30 seconds quick install uh, guide to get WordFast server running. And I will meet you back at the end of this video to give you useful tips and information regarding that. Now, what we need to do is get started with installing this. So let's get started, shall we? So we need to start from uh, the wordfast.com website, select wordfast server in products here and click on download. Then you just need to select the version you want for your computer. Now you unzip the package and then you double click on this icon. This will bring this window, click on more info and then click on run anyway. And at the next pop-up click on yes. And that's it. Wordfast server is installed. So here we will start in WordFast server in demo mode. So if you're a freelancer, you can use the empty function for free. First, we need to go on to the TM panel and create a TM since it's impossible to create an account without a TM. So here, as we can see, we have no TMs yet. So we'll start by giving this a name. So here I'm calling this TM EN2FR MMT for my own reference. Then I need to find the location to store the file. Click on the folder button here. I locate a new TM folder in the same folder as the WordFast server folder for my own reference. I find it easier to do it that way. Then I give it a name. Okay, so in that folder, I give that file a name. And here I choose the same name, EN2FRMMT. When it's done, click on Open. Now that our TM file has been created, we just need to click on add to reference it in WordFast server here. Type in your language pair in this box and click on OK and then click on yes. Now we see that our TM is existing and referenced in WordFast server. This will help us in creating the account to which the TM will be connected to since no account can be created without the TM. Now let's click on the accounts tab. First, we need to give it a name. Here I call it EN2FRMMT again. In the number uh, box on the side here, once that's done, you just put the number 10. All right, then we need to assign a TM to the account. Click here, select the TM we created, and just click on Assign. And now, just the forget the right TM box because we don't need it and just click on add. That's it. We have created uh, the account. So now what we need to do is uh, to change and go to the setups uh, tab. So click on setup and then in setup, we want to uh, find accounts on the left hand side and click on it. Okay, so we click here on accounts and here we click on empty engines. Now, here, as we can see, we have a template for my memory by default. So we'll just write over this and save. This will add our empty in the drop down at the top here then. So let's begin by giving it a name. 
modern empty seems to be fitting for that. And now, once that's done, we'll just need to copy paste in the custom fields specific uh, to modern empty. So I'm copy pasting from a file, but you will have everything in the video description below. So first copy this line and paste it in the URL, like so. Next, uh, we need to fill up the request header. So we copy this line here and paste it in request header as modern empty needs it. Moving on to request data, we copy this line and paste it here. Request data here. Okay, so now we need to move on to JSON key. So we go here, copy this and paste it in JSON key. Now, ModernMT will ask you to uh, put an API key, which you will have purchased, paste it here. So now what we need to do next is uh, create a sentence for testing purposes, a source sentence. So we add it here, and then we need to uh, also add the language pairs for testing. Okay, so once that's done, you click on save. and then click on test. We get a result. This means this is working. Great. Now we can close this and go back to the accounts tab. So let's go back to the accounts tab here. All right. So now we need to have our account selected and now click on empty engine to assign the one we created to this account. So here, empty engine. Now we just select modern empty that we just created here and we do not write or add anything in there. We just click on OK and that's it. So now here in the drop down at the bottom, se uh, select your computer name and click on the copy button here. This is the URL you will want to use to paste in WordFast Pro 5 or in Classic or in any other cat compatible with WordFast server installed on the same computer. Now, if you're accessing remotely, you know that what you need to select is different. In this video, we'll show it locally. So let's open a project in WordFast Pro 5. So in the current project, go to the uh, project TM tab, click on connect to remote. And here in the WordFast server tab, select WordPress server and give it a name. Okay. Now in the URL field, let's paste what we copied from WordPress server. This will fill up as we uh, fill it. Click on read only. Okay. And now click on test. You need to see connection successful. Once that's done, click on OK. And that's all done for now. So now here we open a file and we can test it out. So as we can see, we have uh, empty segments and we are getting answers quite fast from WordFast uh, server and then from Word, uh, Modern Empty. And the tags are very accurate and it's uh, very fast. So that's uh, very nice. You see all the suggestions here are 85% 80 match. So to have that, you need to go into your penalties here in correct current project preferences and you need to make sure that machine translation is selected and that you have it uh, maxed at uh, 15. That will give you 85% match uh, for everything otherwise you will get 100% matches for modern MT. So that's how you get the 85% match and that's how you connect modern MT or any MT using WordFast server. So as you've seen it is not as complicated as it sounds. So you can do that and you can set this up in probably 15, 20 minutes if you follow uh, closely the steps from this video. And this is very useful because once you have your MT set up in WordFast server, you can use that as just a single point to connect any CAD tool that is compatible with WordFast server. So you just copy paste the URL and you're good to go in your next CAD tool. So that is very, very handy because it's just... Uh, connecting as if it was a translation memory, in fact. So very handy to, to have and, uh, and use. Now you may be wondering, well, we've done that with modern empty, but can I use it with my preferred empty? 
Well, yes, you can. Indeed, you can use these custom fields and fill them up with whatever your MT needs to use. Now, have you seen uh, this is uh, something that can be done with my memory as well as this is uh, pre-filled for my memory when uh, you're loading a uh, WordFast server. But it has been tested and works with many other MTs like uh, Cistron, Google, Yandex, DPL, uh, and many more. So if there's an MT that you want to use uh, and that hasn't been shown or tested, please uh, put it in the comments and uh, I'll try to see what we can do so you can have the information. But in future versions of the WordFast server manual, you will have the information for many empties. So you'll be able just to uh, copy paste what you need in those fields. And then you just need to provide your own uh, API key and you're good to go. So that is a very handy approach uh, to be uh, use, uh, used for that. And it, as you've seen, it works very well. It's very fast in WordFast uh, Pro 5. So I hope you will find this useful. If you find this useful, please share it with somebody else that you think will be uh, interested in that. Make sure you subscribe because I'll be showing you more tips uh, of uh, things like this in the future. And please leave a like. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.